For this episode of the Cedar Log, we have audio of Dr. Goodman from the 1965 NOAC. In this audio, Goodman challenged each of us to be pace setters in cheerful service. Thank you, Dr. Serkin, for sharing this audio. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Why were you selected? Because you were pace centered. Pace centered in cheerful service in your own country in the truth. And that is as it should be. But my brother, one thing haunts me as we close this half century. I am delighted that nearly 800,000, let's say three quarters of a million, have been members of the Order of the Allen, thus selected democratically by their fellows. I'm delighted with that. But a vision haunts me this morning of perhaps a million or two million more place centers in cheerful service in their truth, in their union, who could not get into the order because they were only allowed one representative or two representatives, or in a great big troop, maybe four representatives. And they were the second or the fifth man. But they equally, with the man chosen, may have been pace shutters in cheerful service in their troop. The thing I want to leave with you and with the order on this democratic tradition this morning is that in the next 50 years, somehow, under the guidance of our good God, the way is open whereby all the truly kind pace cutters in cheerful service in the units of the country can be a part of our brotherhood of cheerful service. I can't see you, one of you, but I know you're there, all 3,400 of you. And I'm proud of every one of you. And what you stand for, and those whom you represent in our order. I hope to meet with you informally all the while we're here together and I hope nobody among you is too small or too big or too thin or too fat to shake hands with me when we pass each other on the street on the campus of this wonderful university where we now live together. We'll have, I know, a great conference. And I have such supreme faith in the work that these young men and their advisors have done that I believe we're off to a, the greatest conference in our history. Let's all work together to that end, and let's take home with us the higher resolve to catch that greater and higher vision.